Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test server. We are in chapter 29-3, and I just wanted to address some of the questions that we get, which is always with the swap scroll. As we know, the faction scroll or the swap scroll is coming out very, very soon. So this is going to be the item that is gonna drop on the live servers, I'm assuming on Tuesday. If Lilith stays true to the regular routine of dropping patches, on Monday night we will see the patch note show up. On Tuesday, they will actually drop the patch itself. And then either on that patch or a little bit later, you'll actually have an option to use the swap scrolls. So some of the questions that I get is when it comes to the heroes, what exactly does it swap? And that's kind of what I wanted to do today. So when you look at a hero itself, who we wanted to swap in here, we're gonna use Shamira for instance, because essentially what it's gonna do, it is going to take Shamira as you see her today meaning it is going to take the three stars, it is going to take her plus 30 signature item, it is going to take her nine of nine furniture, and we can swap it to another hero. Now looking in the bottom here, it is only for the four primary faction heroes. It does not include Celestials, it does not include Hypogen heroes, so they are excluded with the swap. So I couldn't take my three star nine of 30, um, or 39, Shamira and swap it to a Lucretia and get her completely maxed out. It is only the factions that you see here, the four primary factions. So we'll go ahead and save her. And then essentially you can pick any hero that you're looking to build in here with a couple of exceptions. And this is what a lot of people I had questions about last night. Um, when it comes to the exceptions, so what are the exceptions when it comes to this actual swap? So looking here, um, we can swap the hero level, the ascension tier, the signature item level, and the furniture, which is perfect. Gear, gear worn by the heroes will not be swapped. Celestials, hypogen, and dimensional heroes cannot be swapped. Non-ascended tier heroes cannot be swapped. Newly released heroes cannot be swapped within the first 60 days. Now you might be asking yourself, why is that we cannot swap them? That is due to another factor that some players might not have unlocked, which is the heroic ship. So essentially looking here, if I have uh, Petra already maxed out or completely maxed out or Peggy, which is the translation, I could go ahead and pick up all of this loot that we see all the way through here just by maxing out a hero with my, my scroll. So if I wanted to pick up all the gear that Raku has, I could go ahead and swap my Shamira to a Raku, allowing me to get everything up to five stars of the Heroic Growth Bundle, which is pretty much just cheesing the the um, the effects of what Lilith wanted to do. So the heroes, as they are today in the heroic ship, you cannot swap them till the heroic ship has left. So essentially, from what I read right here, Ruspin leaves in nine days and 23 hours. Once he is out of that heroic ship, he is past the 60-day point that he has been introduced into AFK Arena. So right now, he's about 50, 50 days, 51 days um, introduced. Once he leaves that heroic ship, he is going to, to show up to be a viable hero to swap. So ultimately, if there's a hero in here that you're waiting to build, you can wait till he drops out of the heroic ship. So if you wanna build Ullard, if you wanna build Ruspin, wait for them to drop out of that heroic ship, and then you can go ahead and you can swap them to go ahead and max them out. Now again, using the reference of Shimira, it is going to swap the signature items. So depending what your signature item is, it is going to swap all of the furniture. It is going to swap the three stars that she has built on here. Now, ultimately, there is a couple things to really keep in mind when you're doing the swap, because right now you can only swap once. There is only one time and it is permanent. So a couple things to think about before you do the swap is one, the heroes that you have currently present. So essentially, especially if I'm further game, let's say for Pharrell, for instance, Pharrell is already at five stars. If I had other copies of Pharrell, which I do right there. So if I had other copies of Pharrell, if I swap Pharrell to a, another hero, let's say that is going to be much, much lower. So Pharrell now becomes a legendary plus hero. Do I have enough fodder and do I have enough copies of Pharrell that I've essentially banked because he's already five stars to go ahead and just build him up again. Because essentially, if I swap Pharrell or if I swap Shamira into, let's say, Grez, 
I will get a Grez that is completely maxed out, plus 30 signature item 9 of 9. But now Shimira will be Legendary Plus using all of the stats and abilities that Grez has, meaning that she is going to be Legendary Plus. No signature item, no furniture, essentially with the swap. Now again, it becomes the question, if I do have a couple copies, like let's say for instance, now in the same manner I take Pharrell, I swap Pharrell and I'm like, you know what? I've always wanted to build Isabella. Let's go ahead and swap to Isabella. So I swap my five stars from here. I swap my five stars onto Isabella. If I have a bunch of copies of the heroes, now I have a bunch more fodder, essentially, which I might not be able to build Pharrell, but I might have already been banking a bunch of copies of, even in this case, let's say Oden. So if I swapped Oden right here to five stars, so if I swapped him with Pharrell, Oden today, swap scroll is five stars. I have one, two, three, four copies of Oden already down there and a fifth elite copy down there. So essentially now I'm gonna be stuck with a ton of fodder because Oden is a hero that I wanted to build, that I plan to build, never got around to. Now with the swap scrolls, I'm just gonna have a ton of ascended fodder down there because now I'm suddenly getting the hero all the way to five stars. So again, guys, something else to consider. And I cannot stress enough um, that it is one time and it is permanent. I know D said a lot of this in the live chat yesterday. Um, ultimately, you're going to have to make a decision on the heroes you're using. In addition, when it comes to these heroes, dimensional heroes, guys, the fusion material. So if I infuse with Pharrell, I use Pharrell to swap, let's say again with Oden, we do the swap. Now my Pharrell is elite plus, it will in turn make Ezio elite plus. So that swap is actually gonna degrade this. So you're gonna have to spend the diamonds. You're gonna have to unfuse them. You're gonna have to go ahead and do that fusion with another hero to make sure that your dimensional heroes stay maxed out because essentially we're going to be losing our five-star hero here to pick up a five-star hero here. So essentially when this hero changes, this hero is going to change in return resulting in me having to essentially reset a dimensional. Again, just another thing to keep in mind. I feel like really the more information that we have about this, the better, because ultimately making a good decision. Now, a lot of players have said, okay, well, I'm gonna swap a hero like Belinda. When I think of the swap scrolls, if you build Belinda early, because she is very, very awesome early on, that is an ideal swap. If you're building possibly Lucius, even if you're swapping Shamira, because guess what? Once you get to a certain chapter, Shamira doesn't work as effectively anymore. So a lot of players are swapping Shamira, swapping um, Lucretia, or excuse me, not um, not Lucretia. I would never swap a Belinda and Lucius. So a lot of heroes that people built ultimately are just getting swapped to other heroes. Just like on the Wilder account, we have Almus, which if they rework him, great, but as they don't, Almus just sits there and rots at five stars, because unfortunately, I can't use him right now. So if I could swap my five-star Almus for a five-star Respin that I know I'm gonna use in my Wilder team, it would be a very, very cool. So again, guys, take some time, really think about the swap scrolls, make sure that you're going to use it on heroes that essentially need it, and make sure when you're swapping, it's not for, you know, a plus 10 to a plus 20 signature item. To me, that benefit is not there because it doesn't really cost that much to level up other heroes. But ultimately, it is your choice. And I always say this, um, it ultimately is your choice. Just make sure, you know, furniture is relatively easy to come by with the tier list. Um, red chest we do get on a regular basis. So ultimately, making sure the swap is going to be worth it and you're really picking up a hero that is going to make an impact into AFK Arena and it's not gonna be another hero that you're just gonna sideline. So guys, let me know in the comments what you guys think. That is the swap scrolls kind of in a nutshell. So if you do have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys for watching.